It's time to build the actual Naive Bayes model. So to do this, we will calculate the probabilities of each word given whichever category it belongs to. So the probability of, say, the word blog appearing given the fact that we know that the uh, tweet is about apps, or is about the Mandrill app, rather. So I'm going to go ahead and just label this column token and label this column length and then I'm going to create a pivot table out of that data pivot table where'd you go there and click OK it's gonna make a new tab for us and I'm going to put token as the row labels and we're gonna have a count of tokens for each of those rows and now remember we counted the number of letters in each word so that we could remove short words and this is our version of removing stop words this is not typically how it's done we should be using a scalpel rather than than a machete here but we wanted to represent this some way um, if you were using Python or R or some other tool like that you would actually have a list of stop words that you would use uh, for this so I click this down arrow here that brings up length and I'm just gonna say okay I don't want you if you are zero characters long one character long two characters long or three characters long. I only want words that are at least four characters long. So the next step is then to go down here to C5 and this step is called additive smoothing and it's sort of a technical reason. You can refer to your book, it's not that technical if you want to understand why we're doing this but this is sort of beyond the scope of uh, understanding really the conceptual aspects of how Naive Bayes works. So I'm not going to explain it here, just refer to your book chapter if you'd like to know why. So I go B5 plus 1 and that's all we need to do, we're just adding one to each of these. Send that down the rows. So now you have these token counts here where each, each one uh, has one added to it. Um, and so what we need is a new grand total. You can see we have our grand total of tokens here was 1,808. We have this number over here which is just 1,808 plus 1. We're going to delete that. Press equals sum and I'm going to sum up this entire row, or excuse me, I'm going to sum up that entire column. Click enter and there's our grand total there. And so now we want to actually calculate the probabilities of uh, each word being in the tweet given the fact that it's it belongs to this particular category it's about Mandrill app and so the way we do that is to go back up to the top and I'm gonna take a note I noticed that mine did not output exactly the same way as the book did uh, maybe yours did maybe I made a small error somewhere in any case I'm down here on row 821 so make a note of 821 Go back up here and I'm going to press equals C5 over C dollar sign to make a constant 821. And now that should give us our probabilities. So this, each number over here in D, each cell in D represents the probability of that token appearing in a tweet given the fact we know that it belongs to uh, the Mandrill Tweets category. So given the, so knowing that the tweet is about Mandrill app, this is the probability that this word will occur. Um, now we want to do one more thing, and again this is one of those technical things that you don't really know, need to understand to know the conceptual elements of Naive Bayes, but we want to take the natural log of that. So we put an equals ln and we're going to take the natural log of D5 and click enter and send that down the rows. So I'm going to call this sheet ac excuse me, app tokens probability. I'll just go with app tokens prob. And then I'm going to make another tab rather Actually, I'll just have the pivot table do it for me. I'll go back to the uh, other tokens, and I will select 
just like we did before, token and link. We'll select these, make a pivot table. At this point, I'm just doing exactly what I did before with the other tab. I'm just doing it all over again. Go to pivot table. Got a new sheet. And I will make tokens the row levels, take account of tokens, put length in as a filter, filter out all words that are less than four characters long. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can see better just in case you guys missed it on the first one. I'm going to do my additive smoothing down to the bottom to get a new grand total. So that's going to equal sum of all the numbers in this column. And then make a mental note, we're on C816. So we're going to calculate the probabilities now. C816. So I just take equals C5 over C dollar sign 816. And did I remember that right? 816, I'm really bad at that type of thing. Uh, and then send that down the rows. So now we have our probabilities. Interestingly, look at that. We've got our probability of one there. Huh, that's funny. Um, and then we take the natural log of that and send that down the rows. Um, I'm not going to explain natural log here, but uh, another thing that the natural log is good for is when your data are not normally distributed. Say you want to do a t-test on some data or an analysis of variance like we learned when we were talking about conversion marketing, and you find out that your data uh, just are not normally distributed. Maybe they're skewed for some reason. If you take the natural log of each one of the numbers in the data set, oftentimes that will make the do data normal again. So that's one useful thing about the natural log that might come up in your future. So there we have it. This is actually our model. So that's the interesting thing about Naive Bayes is the model is actually these numbers here. So this, these numbers here combined with these num numbers here uh, actually make the model. So in the next video we'll actually we'll, we'll use this model and we'll validate it to make sure that it's working properly.